Dwayne Reeder. Um, I own Engine House 25. It's an old uh, restored firehouse that I bought off the city in 1995. Um, I've been making wine for about 18 years, but it didn't start in that firehouse. It started actually a county guy in Bloomfield. I don't know if anybody caught that show on KDK, but I talked about a guy named Nino Tolomeo who got me into wine in 1992. Um, buy the firehouse in 95, start remodeling it as a fo uh, photographic studio. So that's kind of why you see the labels. You're probably looking at these labels going, what the heck is all that? You know, why is Troy Paul Malo on a wine bottle? I've been lucky enough through the years to photograph some pretty cool guys uh, like Mario and Troy, some of the other Steelers and Penguins. Um, so we started kind of attaching them to wine labels, sending them out as a promotional item to the photography studio. Um, and it caught on. Everybody kind of liked the wine. They thought, wow, these are cool photographs. Um, about 99, I meet, I meet Tim here, who's in a band called the Buzz Poets, and I was doing their photography for a CD, um, and we did a CD release party over on the south side, and I made the Buzz Poets wine, and Tim got hooked. So he come on board. We started doing it together, 99, 2000 started growing it each year because we wanted more wine basically to give out to our friends and family then my wife cut that off after 10 years of giving it away for free she was like hey guy, you need to get a license here however those of you from Pennsylvania you know that's not so easy um, luckily for us in, in December of 2008 the APA changed the laws allowing someone to make wine in the state not using Pennsylvania grapes so for years we were using California fruit, so we are like, we don't want a license to sell well, Welch's grape juice. Um, so we were like, we're going to you know, keep doing what we're doing, whether we get a license or not. They change the laws, we get our license. We've been, we're a year old technically with our license. We got it a week before Wine Fest last year. Um, we did uh, the Wine Fest at Heinz Field last year. We just did it last week or two weeks ago. So we're like a year old. Uh, we bring fruit from uh, our Cabernet that we're going to drink tonight's from Sonoma. Our Zinfandel's from Lodi. Um, we're making a Malbec from Chile, which, if you watch that show, I kind of, kind of uh, had a tongue twister there. I was talking about the Malbec we're going to serve tonight is a year old, but we do have our Malbec grapes in the firehouse right now. So she wondered if the Malbec that we're making today is the Malbec we're drinking tonight. No, it's not. Um, so basically that's kind of the rundown of the wines. Hope you guys like them. Tim's probably, I, I kind of cut them off. I went, I went a little too far past the whole Buzz Poets thing. Um, however, he might answer some questions if anybody has any questions. I don't want to bore you too long because I know you're all waiting for the Malbec and that's where we're going next. Um, are there any questions? I guess that's it, let's drink. But, uh, we have a, a staff here, we got Seema. And Jason, they can answer any questions.